Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupiterjim.com and I am at my demonstration blog, Jim's Max GXL Marketing Team. And in that demonstration blog, I'm using WordPress version 3.1.3 .3, along with the thesis theme version 1.8.1. .1. And yes, you do need to be using some version of the thesis theme in order to be able to follow along with this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to stylize and customize your sidebar widget. So right here under Pages, this is sidebar one and everything under this calendar sidebar is sidebar two. So we have two sidebars and we need to figure out the width of each of these sidebars to help us stylize the widgets and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So everything under pages here, all these pages listed is a part of the pages widget. And then if you look to the right, there's a categories widget right there and a blog role widget and a meta widget. And uh, I'll show you a little bit more how to stylize, customize, and exactly what a widget is in just a second. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the dashboard. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to go to where it says the thesis tab. I'm going to click on design options. Now the first thing I need to do is click on columns and the reason I'm doing that, I'm going to scroll down a little bit, is this will let us know in sidebar one, which you can see right here in sidebar two, they may be both the same size, they may be different sizes, you may only have one sidebar in your uh, blog. But in any event, you need to know how many pixels wide that the sidebar is. You don't need to copy and paste it you just need to make a note of that okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open up a notepad file and this notepad file has all of the CSS coding that we need to stylize that widget now whenever you're using code and copying and pasting code make sure you're using notepad if you're using a PC or text pad or the simplest word processor, the, the simplest text editor program that you can use so that it will not accidentally insert extraneous code into the CSS code which might mess up your site. So as you can see up here, I'm in Notepad. You can find all the code that is in this file um, at Jupyter Gym's marketing team but the easiest way to get to my blog Jupyter Gym's marketing team just type in jupytergym.com into the web address bar at the top of your browser and at the top of that website there'll be a link to Jupyter Gym's marketing team so you only need to remember my name jupytergym.com okay so what we're going to do is just copy this code here now let me make a note the top part of this code here is to stylize the widget and this is code specifically to stylize the head section the heading of that widget okay but we're gonna copy it all together I'm gonna press control C to copy command C on a Mac or you can just right click and copy that way okay so I'm clicking in the white space to deselect I'm gonna minimize this we're back at the dashboard or control panel and now I'm going to click on custom file editor under thesis we are in where it says custom.css it says click here to edit selected file we're already in CSS so we don't need to do that you can click it if you want I'm just gonna to scroll to the bottom I'm gonna put the cursor right there hit enter a couple of times and now I'm gonna press control V or control Victor or command V or command Victor on a Mac or just right click and paste this is gonna paste the code that I just copied from that notepad file and there it is now before I hit the save button I just wanna let you know uh, down here where it says width right this section just to the left of that the width if you'll notice is 180 pixels so it's a little narrower than the actual sidebar width because you have to take into account padding and margin that are in the the widget and the sidebar okay so I'm just going to click the big green save button at the bottom now I'm gonna right click I'm gonna go back up here and right click bring us back to the blog I'm gonna scroll down and you can see that the widgets have been customized and stylized there's the pages widget there's the blog roll widget the meta widget and you can see we've picked a white background purple header 
Let's go back. You can see everything is all uppercase here. So let me show you how I did that in the code and how you can change it right quick. So I'm going to scroll down here. Now, any time you see the colors, you can. So this is the background color, or right here is the background color. That is the background color to the widget, and that is the hexadecimal code for white, which you can see is the same down here. Let's change the background color. I'm going to click down there, and I'm going to make the background color just this kind of a light. Let's click there. Ah, I guess it's some kind of a light. Well, let's make it something kind of a light blue. So that's the color I want. I'm going to highlight that, press Control c to copy. Now I'm just going to double click on that FFF, excuse me, I should just click it twice. And now I'm going to hit backspace to delete it and press Control v to paste. Make sure there's the pound sign or hash mark in front of the hexadecimal code and make sure you keep that semicolon to the right of it. Now I'm going to click the big save button again. Now before I do that, let me just let you know, if you want to change the background color to the head or the header of the widget, you would just do the same thing right here. Uh, you would just pick a color, copy it, and paste it in, and then we're done. So I'm going to click, deselect that. I'm going to click the big green save button. I'm going to go up here, right click, open link in new tab. And let's see if it the background color. So you can see the background color to the widgets changed. And that's all there is to changing, it's customizing and stylizing. But let me make a note before you leave. Where I got this code was a Dynamite Thesis theme manual that I actually paid for. And I'm now selling that on my site, Jupiter Jim's Marketing Team. Now, in that manual, it gives you so much more detail about how to change the lettering, the font, font color, font style, background colors, background styles with everything. It's really dynamite. It's 415 pages. I strongly recommend it to anybody who works with the thesis theme. It's worth every penny. Thank you so much for following. Thank you so much for leaving your comments and sharing on Facebook and Twitter. Take care and have a great day.